All right, so today we're going to try something different. Uh, we are going to, well, it's going to be the same as usual, but now that my mic came in and everything, we're going to go ahead and log in, visit the world of Norath. All right, we are in the wonderful land of Norath. I'm gonna have to take a moment to get my bearings because this is definitely the first time I've um, done a recording like this. I feel like there's a lot more stuff to pay attention to or whether it's the mic, uh, the camera, OBS, and all this stuff kudos to the people that do this for a living this is literally just me documenting my adventure you know that's funny um well it's not funny but it's what's interesting is that um one of the reasons why i'm doing this uh specifically recording um my playthrough the adventures of dracos chill play um, there's probably going to be different variations of this, but it's really just because one thing I've always, like, you know how you take a screenshot and you look at it years later and you're just like, oh man, it instantly bring, brings back so many memories. I've always had that. But one thing I've always wanted is, man, if only I could relive the adventure. If only I can come back here five years from now, ten years from now and watch a recording like this and just re-engage, re, re immerse myself, see the people that I met. Maybe I'm being a little dramatic and you wouldn't be wrong. Um, but for those of you that know, you know, you know. I was 13 years old back in 1999 when I went to my friend's house and he was he was on the, the you know his parents were on the richer side of of the town so they lived in a little uh, McMansion <laughs> little um, and one of the one of the things that he had was a very beefy PC my PC back home was not bad Oh gosh. What the? Did he just. Uh, how did this just happen? Did he go LinkedIn? I, I was not paying attention. I'm going to have to rewatch that. Um, but yeah, he, he was. Um, his parents were on the wealthier side of uh, town. Big home. And also had a beefy PC. And I remember he was using those. It was either Net Zero or AOL. It was, I mean, everyone had AOL back then, but I think in, in the moment, um, it was net zero in that particular case. And what had happened is I'm watching him run around in this game, and I'm just like, what is this? And it was dark, and it was in greater fade dark. And he's like, oh, this? It's a 3D game where you can play as um, I don't know if we made a Lord of the Rings reference like Legolas and you can run around and I was like no way and I remember looking into that monitor I looked into that screen and I thought it l immediately pulled me into like another world again I'm being super dramatic but again picture this from a 13 year old's perspective in a time where there, there was not a lot of RPGs. Like, we played Baldur's Gate, right? Those were the pinnacle of our RPGs back then. Baldur's Gate 1, Baldur's Gate 2, um, top-down RTS games like Warcraft 1, Warcraft 2. 
um forgot when warcraft 3 came out but that was revolutionary as well but here you are looking into a 3d world and it just it was just new and and the craziest thing is that the people running around you were actual human beings like i'd say wait is that a person he's like yep is that a person yep and it, it just blew my mind. So what happened next is, again, I'm 13 years old. My parents aren't just giving me random access to the Internet. Uh, I'm sure we've all been there. But like we've in a, regardless of which generation you're from, um, most people watching this video are probably from my generation, but we're slightly older or younger, whatever. Um, we, we had to uh, like basically finesse our parents and convince them to let us you know, whether it's play the computer or get internet access, and was, we would do stuff like I'll do my laundry for a week or something like that. I'm just making stuff up. Obviously, that is such a terrible example. Um, but I, I remember having to convince them, and until I convinced them to actually get internet, um, I was using the Net Zero discs. I had tons of Net Zero discs, um, and in addition to that, I was playing the uh, tutorial world. So they're back in the early days. Instead of logging onto a server, you could play the um, tutorial, and this is also something we'd explore when the servers were down. So if the servers were down, if you didn't have internet access at home, whatever it might be, um, man, they gotta fix that. Hold on, is my clip playing? I yeah, I I, I know it's the farthest. That's. I'm sure the, I'm sure secret or the devs know about this. So, but anyways, yeah, I mean, it was um, it was an experience. Oh man, this is very, very scuffed. Uh oh, looks like this guy is camping in this area. I'm really just running around exploring and I mean to be completely honest I really just want to test my current setup make sure it's um, working okay how's my audio can you guys hear me okay is the music too loud I'm talking to myself right now because I'm not live but again um, this is um, it's a work in progress I appreciate you know feedback if you do like it you can leave a like and then say why you liked it. If you don't like it, you can dislike it and just. Um, but but here's the deal: if you dislike the video because you know that's you're entitled to do that. What I want you to do is I want you to dislike it and then leave feedback saying your audio levels were bad, um, your video quality was terrible, your face looks scuffed. Like I can't fix that. That's gonna be a permanent reoccurring theme of of this channel but i can definitely work on some of the other things uh specifically the audio that's what makes me um that that that's the part i'm nervous about right now i'm i want to like i don't want this to be about just hearing my voice i want it to be about you know capturing the um ambience of norath and the adventures that we go on maybe some commentary on what we're doing and how we're doing it but i love the soundtrack of of everquest i mean it it gets me every time i have an entire playlist on um an everquest inspired playlist on spotify and what it is it's a collection of literally thousands of songs um that i used to play in the background um in everquest like in a certain at a certain point of through my playthrough i get kind of um fatigued with the in-game music so i transition to a spotify playlist i mean it has everything from lore of the rings um it's actually now that i think about it it's in the description of each video i post it's um whatever whatever spotify playlist but anywho um, but even without that, like the, think about it, 1999, 
the original soundtrack is phenomenal and I, I don't want to take that away if i'm just yapping the whole whole time and i'm not even live goodness gracious um then don't want to yeah i really hope they fix the camera view i know that's like old news everybody's dealing with that um but uh I just hope it gets fixed. <laughs> like, I don't know what else. But I'm I'm using the HD texture pack, so hopefully everything looks crisp. Um, everything is um, recorded, encoded, uploaded, whatever in 4K. Um, again, I tried playing this on my big screen the other day, and I was super happy with the quality. So hopefully you appreciate that. Um, Again, obviously most people watch this kind of stuff on their phone. Um, some of my recordings are four hours long, so I, I don't anticipate too many people are going to be sitting at, at their chair. Just let me stare at the screen for four hours watching Draco's play. Like, I don't think people are going to actually do that. Um, but if you were on the couch and you just wanted to, like, read a book and unwind that other four four hour video... I made it's pretty dope all right so should we take off let's let's uh should we get crazy now nah, let's not get crazy look at it harmony them perfect and then we're gonna pull this guy with um whatever that spell is flame lick so little baby dot really i just like to use it for pulling um, because, uh, it's 1.5, um, uh, spell cast time. Hold on, let me just pull it up. So the cast time is 1.5 and the mana cost is only 10. I think it provides a lot of value for what it's worth. I snared this guy way too soon. I meant to snare him like... His health is not dropping as quickly as I wanted to, so might I might lose my snare on him, but yeah, I use flame lick to pull and then snare these buddies. The blues are uh, really simple. I wonder how much x uh, h yeah, HP XP XP I get. Um, oh, see now he's running. I knew it would fade. All right, let's see what we get. Oh wow, yeah. I mean, obviously I'm only level. Um, seven but that was a decent amount of xp i don't know what it is about everquest but i never get tired of the grind like i've played a lot of mmos i played um you know obviously wow um arcade and um i don't know why i have this brain fog right now but just oh guild wars um all of them okay i've tried all of them obviously everquest too and there's literally no game that has ever even come close where I would sit there for hours. You know, I have a job, I have responsibilities, I, I have a family, I have a home to take care of, I have a dog, I have a cat. So if I'm going to do this, like my time is very valuable. Oh, snap. And I'm not just going to sit here and, and play a video game just to grind it out for no reason something about this just always I don't know hits the spot so to speak let me see if I can I really messed this up <laughs> so that's another thing I, I gotta learn how to do is how do I talk um, to an invisible person because technically well you're not invisible but you're invisible to me right now I'm not even live, so it's not like I'm responding to a chat. But how do I talk and try to think at the same time? Um, can't imagine I'm a very good multitasker. But look at this. This plan worked out perfectly. Look at that. The root broke just in time. But yeah. Um, my point and what I was saying is <coughs> the... Um, no other MMO has even come close. Like, I can be grinding these orcs for the next three hours and not get bored. 
And because even even still, like I'm grinding, but I'll be co collecting belts, so I have this like instant motivation that I'm getting money. Like I started with my last video. If you pay close attention, I, I had six or I had like three gold, three gold to start the the, uh, the game. Like I, I logged in to Nora Wrath and. I literally had three gold to my name. An hour or two in, I was at like 30. And then I bought some gear and I then I got back to 30. So, you know, while I'm grinding this out, and I'm not specifically doing it for this, but if I'm killing these guys, I'm going to get belts. Each belt is three plat. Or if I really wanted to, I can go turn it in for um, for some XP. I don't know. The choice is mine. I make my own adventure. I definitely plan on going to Freeport, um, taking the boat, I'm not going to be porting, it's going to be a nice little adventure, oh look at that, how oh, cute, YouTube, at class and cool, um, but yeah, oh my gosh, what the, oh I don't like where that he's going, wait, wait, Gosh, he's so rude. This guy needs to go somewhere. You. Get out of here. Yeah. Go bring me some real mobs. <laughs> I'm officially out of mana. Let's uh, get some situational awareness. Okay, no. Great way to, uh, you know, break the ice on one of these videos where it's my first time, like, recording and trying to do the mic thing. Um, great, great icebreaker. Annoy the audience with um, me humming a song. It's a brilliant idea. Yeah, the best part about this is I might not survive. But we are going to go for it. No regrets. No, he's literally whooping me. Did somebody like buff him or something? It's not a thing. Well, it is a thing, but you can't buff a random NPC. If you could, that'd be um, that'd be a fun way to troll. Like imagine going in a zone with with a bunch of lobies, like kind of like Great Afraid Dark, and being like a high elf cleric or something like that, or druid, <laughs> and or like uh, yeah, druid, and casting a damage shield on like a bat or a wasp, and like some innocent level three. Attacks the wasp and gets hit with the damage shield for like 40. That's such a cynical. Why would I even think that? Hey, but that's classic EverQuest. Like some people would uh, run trains unintentionally. They, they, would, they would just pull more than they could handle, right? As part of the... Um, I love... It, it's just... It's just great memories, right? But there was other people that would intentionally run a train. I remember this was in Riverview, Rivervale, whatever, um, where the halflings are. And they would pull all these mobs or some kind of high level mob right to the uh, zone line. And it would, that one mob would like kill every single lobby. And it's like, it's like terrible. You just like, you're, <laughs> you probably ruined somebody's day. Some people don't take it too seriously, so they probably just like, darn it, you know, it's not like you're losing XP. But imagine being the person that did that. The cackling, hysterical laugh that they're probably doing. Again, I'm, I'm being cynical. It's, it's I'm going to get an automatic dislike just for that. It's like, oh, he supports trains. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, I'm completely unprepared for this video probably not even gonna upload it I genuinely just want to do this for myself so I can test it the reason why I'm probably gonna upload this and if if it's uploaded you're watching it now duh um, 
is really to get feedback, right? Um, the, I got a nice mic, right? I went through four different mics until I settled for this one. And to be honest, I was I, I'm like, what? I'm just gonna get a budget mic. I went through. I got the one of those Fifine, Fifine, uh, K six eight eight. Good mic, but I, I I could tell like it would last maybe a month. And I'm like, I just, I, I used to record music back in the day and do some production work. And I'm not saying I have an ear for sound. I, well, clearly I don't since I, it took me like six or eight iterations or recordings to even come close to what the video um, volume should be. But um, yeah, it just, when I, when I used that Fifine, it just was not a, it was not the mic for me, so I ended up getting the Rode PodMic USB. I don't have an interface, so I didn't want—I didn't want to drop a hundred bucks for a um, XLR microphone, which is just the regular PodMic, and then I would need to get an interface too. And I used to have an interface. Why do I keep doing this? This is what I'm talking about—the whole multitasking thing. I'm sending the elevator up and down and up and down. Um, yeah, so I just I just bit the bullet and got the Rode PodMic USB, which is basically an extra hundred bucks because it has essentially the interface built into the mic, you know, hence it being USB. So instead of going from XLR to uh, audio interface and then to the computer, you have uh, USB-C to USB-C. So to be honest, I'm, I'm a minimalist. I mean, clearly uh, with my weird background um minimalist i've got three kids so clearly i'm not minimal in some things but um when it comes to uh like my i oh, almost fell in the space in front of me i want it to be simple and minimalistic and i don't want a bunch of wires everywhere i'll be a fun thing to do later um once i really tighten up on all this stuff i want to uh share the setup I have but yeah um cool cool little fun fact let me pause right here um let me just and we're gonna use this opportunity to play around with OBS so aha uh -huh, okay so cool little fun fact I just want to share this with you guys and um, guys and gals as of 129 in the morning, Saturday, January 13th. I am at 44. See that? It, it's going to get blurry if I bring it in. 44 subscribers. And you might say, Dracos, why is that um, relevant? It's like, no one cares. Okay, I really don't care either. Um, I genuinely am shocked that I got more than two subscribers because I wasn't intentionally doing this for that purpose. Like I said, this is more of a documentary. I'm documenting my personal playthrough, and I also I also like to um, do um, do videos, right? Video editing and and stuff. And this is like kind of my opportunity to do that. Um, here I am playing around with this stuff, but anyways. 44 is great, but once I get six more, YouTube will officially let me go live. Why does that matter? Well, here's here's my current current process. And again, if, if anyone else here has this issue, please let me know what your solution is. Let's say I uh, will use my last video. It was a uh, chill play episode two. Um, Let's, um, yeah, so we're going to use that video as an example. Um, it was a four hour recording. I was recording in the highest possible everything. I think it was like an 80 gig file. And I edited it, exported it, 4K. It was like a 69, 70 gig. Um, sorry, I forgot to. Uh, change the setting it was a 70 gig file right big file um not a big deal the big deal happened when i uploaded it to youtube well 
the actual upload on one gig internet took 40 minutes. It took 40 minutes to upload about 60 gigs to YouTube. Wow, that's great. You got some fast internet. Yeah, okay, I'm very lucky, whatever. I, got, I'm, I have, you know, fiber. However, then YouTube started transcoding the video into their preferred everything. And mind you, I've, I've already done the research. I've looked it up. I'm like, okay, YouTube wants what kind of format, right? So I try to match that specific um, everything. And 18 hours. 18 hours is how much it... So it took... Um, the four-hour video took me like a few hours to edit. I um, exported it. That took about 40 to 50 minutes. Um... I uploaded it to YouTube, that took about 40 to 50 minutes. And then it took 18 hours for YouTube to take my file and create a low res, high res, and then a 4K version. 18 hours. So I'm just thinking about this, if I'm going to have a schedule and set expectations for myself and, you know, potentially for other people and you if you're watching, um, I need to fix that. 18 hours for YouTube to encode um, a video is absurd. And yeah, four hours is long. Not everything is going to be four hours, but some things might be six hours. You know? Who knows? I might send my family on a cruise and stay home. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but I mean, a good example. Okay, we're talking about a Project Warm right now. What if it was Monsters and Memories? And uh, they're, they're doing another playtest. Um, and this goes back to my point about in, well, after six more subscribers, I'm at 44 right now, and I'm about to be at, at 50. Um, at 50, YouTube gives me the ability to go live. I, I literally said all that just to, to get to the point that um, when, once I hit 50 subs, I'll be able to go live. And it's just going to, I guess, make the workflow a little bit easier because... If I just want to do a plus play session, I'm completely lost. Um, this is hilarious. Um, if I just want to do a play session and record it, hopefully in 4K, I'm not sure what the limitations are for YouTube for going live, then that would be ideal. Like just go hit live. I can, I'll have the overlays, um, right? What the, hold on. Okay, yeah, so have these, what's, what's the other one, duh, 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 duh. ah, there you go. So this would be like the main title screen. Ooh, I found some kind of ruins. Hey, these are the new ruins, right? right? How the heck did I get back here? You know, I have a question, um, and I'm, there's, there's probably a good reason in the lore, but why was this never utilized as a druid ring? I don't know if anyone wants to comment. If anyone's actually watching and wants to comment of, as to why that is. But this is the druid ring in the noob zone. This, I mean, okay, let's, let, let's, oh, I'm not sharing what my screen, I'm a, this is what I'm talking about. This, I got disoriented in the forest, I, I didn't have my OBS. I'm learning. Please be patient. Um, yeah, this. So this is the Druid Ring that's located right there by um, uh, the POD lift, right? Priest of Discord. Um, and it's the main... It's the main um, attraction, really. And I think that if it was an actual druid ring that people can port to, like, I really think this would be a, like a hot spot. Maybe even for commerce. I mean, not as much as um, the tunnel and East Commons, but why not? I mean, everybody loves Greater Fey Dark. And then, I mean, I don't know if evil races can go to Akanon. I'm completely ignorant to that so maybe I'm just speaking out my rear but um, yeah 
I can imagine this being like a hotspot. If that druid ring worked, then you can actually port there. My point is, I feel like uh, Kelethan and Greater Fey Dark would be a very uh, big hotspot. Or it could be completely wrong. Because, I mean, technically you can port to Butcher Block. But, you know, I feel like it has an uh, aesthetic. So, we're going to experiment really quick. I'm going to uh, take a quick bio break. Um, so bear with me because I want to use this opportunity to test my editing skills. There it is. I'll be right back. All right, reflection time. <sighs> I was just thinking, uh, as I stepped away for a moment, I don't even know if I should upload this video because, again, maybe I should just uh, disclaimer one more time. This is a test. This is not... This is... Um, this is a test, and that's the last I'll talk about it, so... I'm being a bit self-critical. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to just about anything. Um, and this is uh, no exception. I see that gentleman uh, gave me Spirit of Wolf. Woohoo! Thank you for the so. Um, but yeah. I mean, again, and I'm going to be documenting this for myself. I want to... <laughs> I want to look back at this five years from now and not cringe. So, anyway, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Who did I run into? Whoa. Screenshot time. Let me salute this fella. Salute. Oh. Let's give him a compliment. Wow, you look cool. Nah, he really does. That's, um... And I, maybe I'm not saying this correctly, but I thought it was uh, Brad McQuaid's uh, favorite um, sword. Uh, so... Cheer. Thank you. I really got to fix this camera or do something. This is uh, very interesting. Let's take out these guys and see if we can get a, a belt really quick since we're right here. Jeez, what level am I? I'm level seven and this guy doesn't even want to bother me. That's insane. 
by the way, Inarius, um, thank you for the holy armor and for the center. I actually made a paladin um, that was going to be my main. And I chose to do the druid anyways. I've Every single first and main character I've ever played has always been a druid. Um, even if I'm playing like Baldur's Gate or something like that. Well, actually, that's not true. My first choice is usually a rogue or assassin. Somebody that can sneak around in the shadows and then just unleash a barrage of backstabs. Um, yeah, I love that. Wait, is anyone at or kill right now? How many people are online? I'm playing very late. Oh, there's only seven people here. I can literally solo this entire area. Yeah. So that's blue. That, yeah, let's just take let's take out the whole camp. All right, this is gonna be a good test of my multitasking skills because I'm gonna need to have such a. I'm going to have to have situal, situational awareness and um, I'm also going to have to make sure I snare these fellas at the right time. I'm not going to crack my fingers because, well, I am, but I shouldn't. <sighs> Alright, we're going to hit him with a snare. Ooh, shammy. Hey, little shammy. He better not be buffing him. Who's he buffing? Oh, yeah, he buffed this little guy. That's what I was talking about earlier, how uh, you can't buff a mob. I don't think you can, so, man. <laughs> this is going to be hilarious because somebody's going to come and be like, uh, yeah, you can. I'm almost 99.9% .9 sure you as a uh, player character cannot buff an NPC that's not a pet. Right? You can't just go out and buff... Um, Orc Centurions with holy armor, right? Yay, look at that. Um, but I know other people do. Um, meaning like a, an Orc Shaman can... Um, an Orc Shaman can uh, buff the uh, Orc Centurion, right? But... Um, long story short... I was fighting these mobs, you know, I'm, I'm not even going to tell the story because I don't remember the, what the name is of those um, mobs. So it's, it's a zone where there's a bunch of dragons and you can befriend the dragons. Basically, you can raise your faction with them. And then in the, by the ocean, there's these like ferret looking like creatures. And... Um, Somebody's probably laughing at me right now, but the uh, the ferret looking like creatures otters. Yes, the ottermen <laughs> So the ottermen um, I remember when I on on the green server I was uh, camping that those otters and there is a shaman that buffs um, The lo the other guys you, you're trying to get and I'm telling you like y you almost had to make sure that you cleared the camp before he buffed everyone because it would make the battle that much harder you're technically not supposed to get hit at all during the process because you're supposed to pull the um what am i doing you're supposed to pull the um the group i think like three or four how many can and then just you do the area of effect i also had a Lumi staff back then but yeah that was fun good times fun little place to grind uh, just reiterating for anyone tuning in or watching, um, this is a test, and hopefully not every future vid video will be as scuffed as this. Plus, I think it's like 2 in the morning. Yeah, it's 1.45, so um, 1.45 on a Friday, ridiculously long week, tired, <laughs> just recently got a new husky, puppy. And man, I didn't, I can't believe what I got myself into. It's literally like having a fourth child. Only worse. Super adorable and cute. So much personality. A lot of fun. But a lot of hard work. Ridiculous. Um, okay, this is bad. 
Alright, how are we going to do this? Uh, let's... Are we going to have to run? Yeah, this is what I get for not paying attention. Uh, I'm out of mana. I'm not going to survive this. But, um, but yeah. Yeah, so that's one thing I didn't take into account. How am I going to, like, mentally keep my head in the game and still have a conversation with somebody I can't see? It's Kudos to the people that can pull it off. All right. Come on. Come on. I wonder where that other one is. Come on. Okay, now this guy, perfect timing. That other uh, orc, he ran off into the distance. I have no idea where he is. Uh, no situational awareness right now. Um, but hey, look, it's working. On my first video I did, I got a full set of uh, small patchwork cloak armor. And it was uh, quite an adventure getting it. I mean, it's only like one or two gold each, but... I don't know, you just gotta watch the video. Well, you don't have to. I mean, it's like a three hour video of me being level one or level two. It was it was the video that was from two to five, but it was, uh, I was re-watching and I was like, man, what an experience. Being so excited to just get some basic tattered armor um, is wild. Wild child, all right. I have no idea where that other guy went. I know he went that way. I don't want him to start pull, pulling a bunch of people. Let me see if I can pull this off. Run over here. I'm trying not to pull anyone. I know I hit him with a dot before he ran off. Um, let me see. So, okay. So I got experience there. I got experience there. No, nope, yeah, he should still be alive. I would have gotten an experience. Interesting. That's the other awesome thing about EverQuest is like you can literally get into a situation like I was just in and at the worst time that mob that ran off comes back and just backstabs you. It, it's even more hilarious at high levels because the panic that ensues, <laughs> uh, it's just brilliant. I'm just genuinely curious to, to know where he went. I'm going to sit down and rest. Because he could have literally ran across the entire zone right now, but I still carry that aggro. So we'll find out what happens. I'm not going to just sit here like this, but I do need to get my mana back up. Oh. Gen really curious. Um, you know, this whole time I've been recording, I'm just going to make a mental note. Oh my gosh. I just realized something. Nope. Nope, we are good. We are good. Okay. Like I said, I'm I'm testing the audio, so I have to have my levels at a certain um I have to have the levels at a certain place um for for the sound to balance just right. At least I think it's just right, hence the test. And um, that's one of the things I was struggling with when I was getting everything set up. Uh, the mic only arrived like, what, yester yesterday? Yesterday? So. Uh, 
Anyways, I think I think this was a worthwhile attempt uh, for tonight. Um, again, I'm I'm not bashful, right? So I don't mind embarrassing myself in front of a few dozen people. Um, but in the same token, other people have better um, things to do with their time than watch this. So. I'm going to upload this and reflect, review, and uh, see what I need to change as far as audio. And then the next time I come on, it'll be with a purpose to go on to an, a, a, an actual adventure. Um, definitely get into some groups and just have fun. Like, that's literally all I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing what I want to do, how I want to do it. Um, just to kind of relax and unwind. H hence the name of the series right now is called Chill Play. You know, just chill. Chill and play. Um, however, uh, one of the the power of social media and YouTube is that, say, we're on episode 20. Um there's going to be people commenting and saying suggestions, saying, hey, you should do this or you should do that. I'm 100% looking forward to that because now I'm going to have people um, a, a part of the adventure. And that's the other thing um, regarding being a part of the adventure. Please, please, please feel free to friend me. Um, send me a tell and join the party. I would absolutely love to group with other people, um, meet new people. That's that's one of the benefits of doing what I'm doing right now. So, um, also, if you have uh, a channel similar to this, and you just want a shout out, 100%. I mean, me and my 44 subscribers will definitely check you out. <laughs> Again, it's not even about that. It's uh, I couldn't care less if I had three subscribers. The thing is, it's it's a, it's a documentary, right? So, and I'm trying to have some fun while I'm at it. And that's what it's all about. So, in all this time, so in the 44 or 47 minutes, I've been yapping. I actually got a a bubble. So this was not a complete waste of time. I probably will not make this as part of the uh, series. So, like, I'm, I'm building a playlist. So I have episode one, episode two. This will not be episode three. Um, this will be by itself just... I don't know what I'll name it. But, like I said, I'll upload it. I'll get the feedback I need. I might even delete this in the future. There's literally no benefit in keeping a video like this on YouTube because, again, you're embarrassing yourself enough if you're playing EverQuest. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> EverQuest is OP. Let's see if we survive this. We're gonna survive. I will survive. Do, do, do. Alright, I think we are going to go sell... Dang. For some reason, I thought I was encumbered. I'm not. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, duh. Well, it's not duh. I'm actually confused. What What is causing my agility to be so low? Center, Spirit of Wolf. What is happening? What what do I have equipped that is doing that? Hmm. Maybe maybe I'm I'm gonna give up on trying to find out, but maybe somebody can tell me. I don't see any debuff that would cause my agility to be dropped down. I'm not overweight. That would be more of... Yeah. Oh, goodness. Train. What level are these guys? Can I take him? 
Nope. Yeah, that's probably like three blues. Ooh, a will-o'-wisp. Those are rare. What do you call... Oh, you're red. That's right. I forgot about that. Also, would love to go to Willowis uh, Island, see the Kara or Karen. <laughs> um, and there's so many places I want to go and adventure and do this time. So many quests, because right now the only thing that is out is um, Antonica and and uh, Fade were. So basically, just the original content. Um, on Project Worm, they haven't released uh, Kunark or Vilius, so that means you can just take your time and experience the original Norath the way it was back in ninety. Well, let me let me <laughs> let me bite my tongue. Um, this is not like nineteen ninety nine, obviously. Um, there's some quality of life things, and it's it's not, but it's um, it still has that feeling. So I'm not gonna be one of those sticklers. It's not classic. It needs to be class. Like I'm not gonna do that. That's ridiculous. Um, and, and I mean, it's not necessarily ridiculous if that's somebody's preference, and um, that's kind of what you're being told or sold, then. Yeah, if, if somebody set an expectation of classic and it's way off, then um, that's a conflict, conflict of interest. But Project Form is very clear on what it is and what it's trying to be. And it's very clear on what it's not trying to be. It's a very good um, project with a very good uh, development. And yeah, I'm rooting. I'm rooting for the team. Um, I really appreciate this. I'm the thing is I, I wanted to play Quorum a few months ago when it first released, I think in November. Um, but I couldn't because I just finished building a new PC and I it's like AMD everything, so Alright. Oh, look at that. I didn't even know I had these belts. I'll add two to the list. Yeehaw. Uh, let's convert some of this to... Yeah, look. My agility is back to 95. What in the world? Alright, now I'm genuinely curious. Somebody needs to tell me why was my agility at 61? I was not encumbered. Or maybe it was glitched. I don't know. That was really weird. Really weird. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, log out. I might as well save my my sew for, for next time. Yoink. Ah, look at that picturesque view. Um, and... Do, 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 do. Anyways, all right, so I appreciate any feedback uh, that anyone can provide. The main thing I was testing is um, voice audio compared to in-game audio. Um, is one too high, is one too low, is it just right? That's one thing, and everything else you heard today is absolute nonsense, so don't worry about that but if you want to leave feedback on that too great but before you say anything i already know right complete waste of time i get it um but yeah um, feel free if you want you can also leave some feedback on the transitions um again primarily my content's just going to be recordings and then edited afterwards um compilations and like maybe more in-depth videos and keep in mind but it's not just project form my main inspiration for this channel is um monsters and memories and f years back way back when um when i was following the project um uh, pantheon rise of the fallen 
I'm still following it. I just, you know, I don't see myself getting into that anytime soon unless um, they open up uh, the alpha to more people. Um, that's a completely different subject. I'll get into that and I'll get into how I found out about it. I've, I've followed that project since 10 years ago, like since the origin, when Brad McQuaid first announced it. Um, but yeah, so I appreciate uh, any feedback and I will see you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Appreciate you guys. Bye.